Pleasure to invite Tamil Gem Professor Santi Sri Dulipuri Pandit, Honorable Vice Chancellor of JNU, for the presidential address. Ellarkum Vanakam, Anna Inina, Angela Tlapesa Kora, because others have to understand as well. Respected Dean, Professor Mazar Asaf, I am so happy he is also a Tamil today. <laughs> 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 Professor Damodaran, Professor Om Prakash Singh, Professor Anwar Alam, Professor Krishnamurti Nachimuttu, Professor Sujata Tripathi, Madam, welcome to JNU. Thank you. And all very good scholars, faculty members of the School of Languages, and dear students. I'm extremely happy to be here because I think the school of languages, especially Indian languages, I came for Odia as well as today for Tamil. Tamil is my mother tongue. My father is a Telugu, my mother is a Tamil. My husband is a Marathi. So you can put me where you want, but because uh, my mother tongue, if you say, is Tamil. So because of that, I'm very happy because they do very good work. Because I believe that Jawaharlal Nehru University is the university for very good research. And translation, authentic translation from different languages is extraordinary. I am so happy that the center that is celebrating the Tamil stream, now we are hoping under NEP 2020, which is a very visionary document with a great mission for holistic education, will and has given a fillip to Indian languages. And uh, it is important that every Indian language is as good as the other. I think there is no need for competition. Let us have more collaborative work because I believe Indian literature is one, though written in different languages. And uh, most of you know that uh, the center, especially Tonkapyam, most of you will know it is written 4,200 years. So I think it is older than many of the other texts. And it is extremely important that people understand what is written in each other's languages. Hindi is a beautiful language but a modern language. It is not a classic la classical language. And I think all classical languages should be revived if we want to have a framework of narratives based on the Indian knowledge systems. Most of you should know that today you have translated the Tolkapiyam, there is also great Shaivite tradition in Tamil Nadu. We have the uh, Alvars and the Aravati Mover, as we call them, a great Shaivite tradition both in Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. And I would be very happy if we, those are also translated, so the uh, poetry, their, the whole Sangam literature as we call it. As Gopal was telling me, he was reading Silapadikaram. And that is where we have Indian feminism. Karnaki, the citizen activist, as I call her. Ani Mani Megale, the great poet courtesan. So if you see the image, all this is very important. And I thank the Department of Languages 
especially the dean and Professor Damodaran for spearheading this. Because it is only through such works that people will understand the treasures that are in different Indian languages. I am also impressed with the number of scholars who are here and uh, who have been doing work. And I would like more and more work to come both in Hindi and English and other Indian languages. I congratulate you, sir. And wherever there is any need, we can work together, get funds. I, we are, I am very serious uh, to implement the NEP 2020 by starting the Indian School of uh, School of Indian Languages because uh, I am here. The most important thing will be translation. What you have been doing today, I congratulate because this will bring in the diversity of India. It's so beautiful, each language, so we are celebrating diversity, difference, and this, uh, and also different types of ideas. Maybe finally we realize all the ideas are very similar. So I am extremely happy and I also congratulate uh, Professor H. Balasubramanian, whom I told is the pioneer of uh, the late uh, Professor H. Balasubramanian. I request all scholars to be multilingual. See, how can you translate into another language unless you are put in two languages? And it is very important that this is done very uh, fast. And today, and even Professor G. L. Hart's works, which have been released, all the books, I'm very impressed because this is what I want JNU to stand for as one of the pioneers in uh, research and authentic translation. Once more, I thank the uh, chairperson of the Tamil stream, the dean, Professor Om Prakash Ji and Anwar Alamji for inviting me to the School of Languages. I love Indian languages. Do you know I don't know any foreign language? Because my father said first learn Indian languages. So I am very happy to be here. And I welcome Professor Sujata Tripathi who has come. And I am so happy Madam, please come more often and enlighten us with your knowledge and research. Because we are all collaborators, we are just across the road. I think uh, we work together and we work better together, right? And uh, let me again congratulate the school for very vibrant and good work. The other day I was very impressed by the Odia contribution. Today Tamil is my mother tongue and I am greatly, passionately involved with it because I know the work that has been done in the South. If today we are talking of the Indo-Pacific, the Cholas are the greatest, the longest ruling dynasty. Very sad, nobody about the Indians even know about it. But go to Southeast Asia, it is but for the South Indian dynasties. They spread Indian culture, Indian traditions, not by, uh, what to say, invasions, but by trade and commerce. You have what is called the Suvarna Bhumi, a beautiful book written by R.C. Majumdar on the history of the region. Please do read it. And Neela Kanta Shastri's book on Cholas. And most of you go and see the Brahadishwara temple. I end with this. When I say you have to know Indian knowledge, there was no engineering college in that time. No IIT, no IIM. How have you had such wonderful structures? Even till today, no crack. How did the Vimana go up? So we have to understand. And also the first. We are also the mother of democracy, which is the first inscription we have even before Magna Carta. Magna Carta is when? 1215, right? Uttara Meru inscription, 800 before, 800 years before Magna Carta. Why don't we talk about it? We must be proud of this. The Cholas, the Pallavas, the Pandyas and others. So I am very happy once again that the Tamil stream and the School of Languages have taken a giant leap towards making JNU a more holistic, interdisciplinary centre very much in the vision of the NEP 2020. Thank you so much. Thanks to Professor Swamishri, ma'am.
Honorable Vice Chancellor of JNU for having raised the occasion and delivered the wonderful presidential address. Now I would like to call Professor Damodaran, Professor of Tamil, CIR, to give the comprehensive talk about the symposium. Dear friends, we are kings in grammatical verb. Dear friends, we are kings in grammatical verb. Presently, Tamil, Sanskrit, Greek, Latin, Chinese, and Hebrew are the ancient classical languages in the world. Of the above six languages, only Tamil and Sanskrit have ancient grammar text as a core book. The unique quality of these books is that they are in use till date. That is very important. This is more important in the Indian knowledge tradition. The second generation of Ancient texts were written in Pali and Prakrit languages, Kachayana, Mughalayana, Sattanidhi, and Prakrit Pragasa. <coughs> All the important grammars of these languages, the third generation belongs to the more medieval period, which start from Telugu, Andhra Sattva Sindhami, Kannada, Kaviracha Markham, Leela Telugu in the grammar text for the remaining Indian languages were written by Europeans, which is the fourth generation of the Indian grammatical world. Therefore, there are only two ancient grammar texts available at world level, which is in our hands, which is in our hands. Those grammar text names are Tolkapiyam and Pauninium. Professor Subramanian Sastri translated the Pauninium in English. Professor Meenachi translated the Pauninium in Tamil. Professor H. Bala Subramanian and Professor Nachuthu Janvi translated the Tolkapiyam in Hindi. Those scholars are from Tamil Nadu in which Professor Meenakchi and Professor Anachabutu and Professor H. Balaswaram have worked in JNU, which is a great pleasure for us. Now, our JNU French Professor Dr. Pogolendi translating Purgapiyam in French for CACT. Sanskrit Kavya Darsham, Singlish First Grammar, Telugu first grammar were translated to Tamil through my project in 1990 and 2003. Recently, Professor Jayaprakash translated the Pali first grammar Kachayanam to Tamil. Today, in this symposium, our Vice Chancellor introduced Kulkapim Hindi version. Her mother, Professor Adi Lashmi, was also a Tamil professor in Russia. Today, all of these are workers to consider our approach. Our Vice Chancellor in a recent interview said that JNU has contributed a lot to the development of India through academic and administration. We have also contributed in the translation of grammar books this will be considered a great achievement in the future. The translation of Prakrit, Prakrit Pragasara and Burmian first language, first grammar, in future will translate at the time we will achieve all South Indian grammars in Tamil. In order to achieve this, we need the help and the guidance of our Honourable Vice Chancellor and scholars support. If there is any special of this symposium, it is due to the hard work of the scholars here. 
the symposium is going well because of the jointly effect of everyone. Like that, our Vice Chancellor, Professor Swantishri, our team, Professor Masar Kazi, our chairperson, Professor Om Singh, our CA staffs, and our Tamil scholars. Our special thanks to CACT Director Dr. Chandra Sekhar for their financial support to provide this symposium. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. Now, I would like to call Mr. Kamar Kannan about JNU Tamashri activities. Our Tamil stream was started on the year 2007. Till date, uh, 30 PhD degrees and 45 MPhil degrees have been awarded from our center. Our scholars have published 5 books and another 5 books are yet to be published. Specialization of our studies. A special focus is being given to comparative studies and literature from various languages like Arabic, Korean, Chinese, Hindi, Odia, Kannada, Telugu, etc. are compared with Tamil literature with the help of the faculties in the particular department of JNU. As a part of their studies, our scholars have contributed to Tamil philology by translating various works in Tamil. Uh, modern, uh, a few examples I would like to give. Modern Dalit poetry and dramas of modern uh, Mohan Rajesh from Hindi and Madhush, a short novel from Kokani. Ismat Chuktai's short stories from Urdu, Aravan folk tales from Aravan, Sariya Kiti from Odia, and works of Professor G. L. Hart, Professor Sifred Leinhart, Professor Kamil Sulabin, Professor K. Paramashivam from English are the very few examples of the literature and works that have been translated by our research scholars in Tamil. As a contribution of our Tamil stream, Tolkapiyam, the first Tamil grammar, was translated in Hindi by our former professors, Dr. H. Bala Supermaniam and by Dr. K. Najimutu. Uh, other things, our weekly seminar sessions. Since the 29th August 2013, weekly seminar sessions are being conducted on Tuesdays and Thursdays of the week. Scholars as well as the faculty members make the book reviews related to their studies and present paper on Thursday session. Till date, more than 345 books has been reviewed and more than 245 articles has been presented. And it is noteworthy that most of these papers have been published in the UGC's referred journals. Our Tamil stream has conducted three international webinars and conferences. Even during the COVID pandemic period, it conducted more than 200 online sessions on various themes and continues to focus on the Tamil studies. Thank you. Now, I am pleased to invite Professor Moon Prakashin, Professor of Hindi, Chairperson, Center for Indian Languages, School of Languages, JNU for the presentation address.